Get excited, you guys, because a brand new show called Containment is about to hit the CW, and today we are on the set in Atlanta chatting with the whole cast. You guys, it is Chris Wood joining me on the set of Containment, our studio, your home. Yes. You basically live in these hallways. Yeah, right this now. is my bedroom right here and uh, washing facilities in there. It's great. Your character is seriously legit. Like you are fully <laughs> embodying. You have a you even have a face helmet. I mean, I, it doesn't I do. get more hardcore than that. You, um, you need all the protect all the protection you can get. So how did you prepare for this role? Did you go do some training or anything like I that? I went and exposed myself to every virus I could find and saw if I could survive. Look I, at him. I did it. So you actually look different. Uh, there's one thing missing from you that's gonna be a very integral part of your character. There is, there's a plot point missing. I'm pregnant, I'm nine months <laughs> pregnant in the show. One of my favorite things that the writers passed on about what they look for when they're breaking each episode is the three H's, heart, horror, and holy so I you can so bleep that last part. The show is about like a deadly disease outbreak that happens in Atlanta. At the start of the series, I am gonna run away with my boyfriend Xander. We're getting away from Atlanta because my mom doesn't really agree with me having a baby. So we're gonna run away and I'm gonna meet him um, and on the day of, that the court didn't happen. Katie is at the hospital with her, uh, she's a teacher, so she's at the hospital with her kids and they're singing to patients and they happen to be in ground zero, unfortunately. <laughs> and they get quarantined in the hospital on a lockdown. She basically has to take care of everybody and make sure these kids are all right, including her young son who is in her class. She's a single mom, she's in a custody battle with her parents-in-law. This and is some kind of going drama. on. Every episode is like that. It's it's very you know full of adrenaline, but also there's you know there's hope behind it. There's love. There's you know all that stuff that we we seek in our television viewing. For as much as we're forced apart and we're not allowed to connect or interact with each other, there is there is that human element. You're thrown in with whoever, and you have to bond with them, or you have or you clash with them. You know, it goes either way, or you find a connection. That's what's so beautiful about this story. It's not only ordinary people faced with extraordinary, horrific circumstances and learning who they become in the face of fear. We just all got on. We're all so excited to be on the show, to create something brand new. And so there's so much enthousi enthusiasm on the set. And, and we're going and rehearsing, like in between, like we're just meeting up just for a coffee and, and actually rehearsing when we're not playing computer games. I love it. <laughs> and the crazy thing about this show is that it's not science fiction. Mm -mm. Yeah, and, and what's so awesome is that the CDC, the health department, Atlanta PD, the Los Angeles Health Department have all teamed up with us to make sure that the show reflects reality so that it's so accurate. I mean, is this a real disease that just started organically or has it been? It's a real disease. Okay. This is not a, this okay. is a, this is a reality show. This Basically, disease is actually yeah. happening in Atlanta right now. And we're all, yes. And I shook your hand. I'm yeah, dead. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you getting starting to get a little I'm watery? I'm starting eye? to feel a little sick. Yeah, people keep asking me, you know, what's the what's the supernatural sort of no. thing behind it? And there is there really isn't one. I mean, season twelve maybe <laughs> will evolve, but that, you know, it's really it really is. It's a real story. Every character on the show has a complex situation happening, mm -hmm. but especially when it comes to the romance angle, yeah. I feel like her storyline is gonna be really rich. It is rich. That intimacy is really difficult for her, so it's her getting past her own demons, her own self, mm -hmm. to go after what she really wants, which is love and intimacy and family and connection. You know, not just with Lex, but with people. Mm -hmm. It's about uh, love being torn apart and also um, love blossoming under these extreme circumstances. Uh, so there's going to be plenty of that element. Which is going to be quite challenging considering they can't touch each other. Nope. And, let alone and she's inside the court and yes. he's outside. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So are we going to be seeing any like truly romantic moments? Any kissing happening when people no. can't? No. no. But almost. And that's almost even like Juicier. better. You know, because they can't do it, but it's there and you just feel that tension. Will she have time to find any romance? Within the, in this situation, because I think that would be really great for her. You know, Katie doesn't really know. It would be great. She needs to take a load off. Even though no one can even touch each other. Stress. That's the true test, right? Is dating without touching. They should have like a reality show. Dating without dating, touching. Four to six feet should be called. And That's you just, actually like, a great idea. You cannot idea. touch. You're gonna see a lot of uh, four to six feet of love. Okay. It's just people with lots of looks. 
Just a lot of like... Wanting to hold hands, but unable to. Oh my gosh. It's very dramatic. And for more fun with the cast of Containment, be sure to stick with us right here at Clever. Wait, am I second here? Hold on, where are you going? I need someone to help me out of here. And before you go, click to the left to see us try out a bunch of crazy foods on sticks on cheat day, or click to the right to see us get all debatable over who is truly the Coachella queen.